The newly approved measures will see monthly payouts rise by up to a staggering $2,400 for Social Security and SSDI recipients, while those receiving SSI and VA benefits can expect an increase of up to $19 per month. This landmark decision comes at a crucial juncture when the ever-rising cost of living, rampant inflation, and the lingering effects of economic downturns have put immense strain on the budgets of those relying on these vital lifelines. For far too long, hard-working Americans who have dedicated their lives to building our nation, serving in our armed forces, or facing the challenges of disabilities have been forced to make difficult choices between paying for essential expenses like housing, food, medical care, and utilities. But with this substantial boost in income, a brighter future lies ahead one where they can finally breathe a little easier, enjoy a more dignified quality of life, and perhaps even have a little extra to set aside for emergencies or modest indulgences. Let's start by examining the profound impact this decision will have on the millions of retirees who depend on Social Security as their primary source of income. For decades, these individuals' teachers, factory workers, small business owners, and countless others have dutifully contributed to the Social Security system through their hard-earned paychecks with the promise of a secure retirement after a lifetime of labor. However, for many, the reality has been far from ideal. Meager cost-of-living adjustments have failed to keep up with the relentless rise in expenses, forcing retirees to make tough choices and sacrifices, often at the expense of their health, comfort, and dignity. With the approval of a $2,400 increase in monthly Social Security payouts, a significant burden will be lifted from the shoulders of our nation's retirees. Imagine being able to afford quality health care without having to sacrifice other essential needs, like groceries or utility bills. Imagine being able to keep up with the ever-increasing cost of prescription medications without having to ration or skip doses. Imagine being able to enjoy a modest vacation or treat your grandchildren to a special outing without worrying about breaking the bank. This increase is not just a financial boost, it's a tangible recognition of the invaluable contributions these individuals have made to our society throughout their working lives. It's a promise kept, a debt repaid, and a testament to the values of dignity and respect that our country holds dear. It's a statement that those who have built the foundations of our prosperity will not be left behind in their golden years, but rather supported and honored for their sacrifices. For those receiving SSI, SSDI, the approved $1,900 monthly increase is nothing short of life-changing. These vital programs provide crucial support to individuals facing financial hardship due to severe disabilities, chronic illnesses, or debilitating medical conditions, allowing them to maintain a basic standard of living and access necessary care and resources. However, the harsh reality is that many recipients have struggled to make ends meet, often forced to choose between paying for essential medications, specialized equipment, or putting food on the table. The rising cost of healthcare, the ever-present threat of unexpected medical expenses, and the challenges of navigating complex bureaucracies have only exacerbated these struggles, leaving many feeling helpless and overwhelmed. With this substantial increase in monthly payouts, a weight of immense proportions will be lifted from the shoulders of these individuals and their families. They can now afford the specialized care, therapies, and equipment they so desperately need without sacrificing other basic necessities. The constant worry and stress of making ends meet a burden that compounds the already daunting challenges of living with a disability will be alleviated, allowing them to focus on their health, well-being, and personal growth. Moreover, this increase recognizes the unique challenges faced by those living with disabilities and the immense courage and resilience they exhibit in the face of adversity. It's a powerful statement that our society values and supports those who have faced life's toughest battles, ensuring that they can live with dignity, independence, and the opportunity to thrive, rather than merely survive. Our nation's veterans have made immense sacrifices in service to our country, putting their lives on the line to defend our freedoms and uphold the values we hold dear. It is our sacred duty, as a grateful nation, to ensure they receive the support, care, and recognition they so rightfully deserve a commitment that has too often fallen short in the past. The approved $1,900 increase in VA benefits is a crucial step towards fulfilling that solemn obligation and honoring the sacrifices of those who have answered the call to serve. For too long, many veterans have struggled to access the health care, resources, 
and support they need, often facing daunting financial burdens, frustrating bureaucratic hurdles, and a lack of understanding from those who have never experienced the horrors of combat. Imagine a veteran being able to afford life-saving medical treatments or cutting-edge prosthetics without worrying about the financial strain on their family. Imagine a retired service member being able to make necessary home modifications to accommodate their disabilities or mental health challenges without depleting their hard-earned savings. Imagine the peace of mind that comes with knowing that the families of those who made the ultimate sacrifice will be taken care of even in the face of unexpected expenses or hardships. This increase is not just a matter of dollars and cents, it's a tangible expression of our nation's gratitude and a solemn vow to uphold the sacred bond between a grateful nation and its heroes. It's a recognition that those who have served our country deserve to live with dignity, respect, and the knowledge that their sacrifices will never be forgotten or diminished by the passage of time. While this momentous decision is cause for celebration, it's important to recognize the tireless efforts of countless advocates, organizations, and ordinary citizens who have fought relentlessly for these increased payouts. For years, their voices have echoed through the halls of Congress, demanding action and highlighting the dire circumstances faced by so many Americans who rely on these vital programs. From grassroots movements to powerful lobbying efforts, these advocates have refused to be silenced or deterred by political gridlock and partisan bickering. They have shared heartbreaking stories of hardship and resilience, amplifying the voices of those who have too often gone unheard and unseen in the corridors of power. Veterans organizations, disability rights groups, and seniors advocates have marched, rallied, and lobbied tirelessly, refusing to accept the status quo or the empty promises of politicians more concerned with re-election than the welfare of their constituents. They have enlisted the support of celebrities, influencers, and ordinary citizens, building a groundswell of public pressure that could no longer be ignored. Their perseverance has paid off, and this victory serves as a testament to the power of collective action and unwavering determination. It's a reminder that progress, while often slow and arduous, is indeed possible when we stand united in pursuit of a just and compassionate cause when we refuse to let the voices of the marginalized and vulnerable be drowned out by the din of political posturing and special interests. While this historic decision is cause for celebration and a momentous step in the right direction, it's crucial to recognize that our work is far from over. There are still countless individuals and families struggling to make ends meet, facing the harsh realities of poverty, disability, and the relentless march of inflation and economic uncertainty. We must remain vigilant in our efforts to create a more equitable and supportive society, one that truly upholds the values of human dignity, compassion, and justice for all. We must continue to advocate for further improvements to these vital programs, ensuring that they remain adequately funded, responsive to the ever-changing needs of their beneficiaries, and resilient against attempts to undermine or dismantle these essential safety nets. Moreover, we must address the underlying systemic issues that contribute to financial insecurity, inequality, and the perpetuation of generational cycles of poverty and disadvantage. From addressing the rising cost of health care and implementing universal health care coverage to promoting fair wages, economic opportunities, and access to quality education, our efforts must be multifaceted and unwavering. We must also confront the stigma and misconceptions that too often surround those who rely on government assistance programs. These are not handouts or free rides, but rather vital lifelines for hard-working Americans who have fallen on hard times, faced unexpected challenges, or dedicated their lives to serving our nation. It is our collective responsibility to dispel these harmful myths and promote a culture of empathy, understanding, and compassion for those who have struggled against circumstances beyond their control. Furthermore, we must ensure that the implementation of these increased payouts is carried out efficiently, transparently, and with the utmost care and attention to detail. We cannot allow bureaucratic inefficiencies, red tape, or administrative hurdles to impede the timely delivery of these much-needed funds to those who depend on them for their very survival. In the end, this historic decision is about more than just numbers and figures, it's about upholding the fundamental principles of human dignity, compassion, and justice that lie at the heart of our nation's founding ideals. It's about honoring the contributions and sacrifices of those who have built our nation, defended our freedoms, and faced life's toughest battles with unwavering resilience.
It's about ensuring that no one is left behind, forgotten, or forced to choose between basic necessities and a life of deprivation and hardship. It's about recognizing that the true measure of a society's greatness lies not in its wealth or military might, but in how it treats its most vulnerable citizens, those who have given so much and ask for so little in return. As we celebrate this victory, let us also renew our commitment to creating a more just and equitable society where every individual is valued, respected, and supported not just in word, but in deed. Let us march on with renewed determination, guided by the belief that a better tomorrow is always within reach when we stand united in pursuit of a common cause, driven by the unwavering conviction that progress is not only possible but inevitable when we refuse to accept the status quo. For those who have long awaited this day, may this decision bring a sense of relief, hope, and the knowledge that their voices have finally been heard. May it serve as a reminder that our collective power can indeed create lasting change and that our nation's greatest strength lies in its unwavering commitment to uplifting and supporting those who have sacrificed so much for the greater good. That's it for today's video, if you found this information useful. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more updates on the latest financial news.